Hey guys, what's up? It's Avita from Avita's Light Tarot. If you're vibing, please don't forget to hit that like button for me and support my channel. If you're using a, a phone and you can't see where the like button is, there's three translucent dots that like they blend in on the right, I think it is. Uh, also, my information is in the description box if you have any questions or would like a personal reading. Divine Father, Mother, Ancestors, Spirit Guides, and the Most High, please surround us and fold us and protect us with your light. Anyone sending any spell work, evil eye, or negative intentions towards us, please send it back with full forgiveness. Thank you. Archangel Michael, will you please protect us? So, I'm out of breath. I keep, I just did another read, and I was like, all right, let me finish this read, and I'm going to do a second one. Somebody's running from something right now. I don't know what happened, but I'm out of breath. Now, I've been sitting here, like, grounding myself and getting ready to do this read, so... I'm definitely channeling somebody. I need a drink. Okay. Oh, also, my information is in the description box if you guys have the means or the want to donate. Donations, anything would help right now, anything. Even if you can't donate, um, your likes, and your comments are a blessing. All right. Um, I don't know what's going on with YouTube. I, I'm not the only one that's saying this, but there's issues right now with um, the payments. So, all right. So I got these new cards today. I really like to use um, sign language, but I really am good with the alphabet, but the rest of it, I, I'm trying to learn. So I found these cards and I was like, man, I had, I came across them for that reason, I think, because I've always loved it and I'll like prayer dance, but I want to put like some really, a lot of sign, more sign language into my prayer dancing. And, um, so anyways, I figured it would be fun and I'm going to try it out for the first time to use these cards, um, as my cards to read for you guys. And while I'm doing this maybe you guys could learn something, right? If you want to. If not, I'm just using it either way for the um, the different things that are on it, okay? I can't even talk. Somebody is, like, honestly out of breath right now. I do not know what's going on. So before I even use these, I gotta, I gotta ground myself. I don't know what is going on, guys. I apologize if you guys don't like that, but I needed it. Okay? All right. Get some disco going. Do the whole... Wait, how does it go? Um, I remember how to do it now. I was going to say the, the Egyptian dance. I don't remember how your hands go. I know, I look silly. If my, my even though my kids are older, if they would see me doing this right now, they'd be like, Mom! <laughs> That's when you know you're a mother or a grandmother because you can embarrass them, all right? All right, I had to get the, like, energy up. Who's Okay. So let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. All right, so somebody could drive... Um, let's see. Somebody could ride a motorcycle. Okay. The first card I have on here is motorcycle. On the screen, it says my father. Okay. So, but that could be somebody talking about their father. Maybe they're running from their father. Behavior. So there may have been a problem. Mm 
somebody's name could be Ruby. Okay, I guess their father could have went off like a bomb, it says. Okay, and then I have motorcycle. Okay, so this is when you're sign language, when you're doing sign language about a motorcycle. I think that's neat. Um, also on the back, I have a bicycle. Okay, so somebody could be on a bike or a motorcycle. Because basically, not that they're the same things, but they're both, you ride them, you know? So, yeah. Somebody could be, could have took this out and, and got in an accident, or somebody could be running from somebody on a motorcycle. Um, that reminds me, I told you guys sometimes I will tell you stories in between. I had a friend I lived close to, and this person was, uh, he was the crew chief, he was on the crew chief, or he was the crew chief of a drag racing team. He passed, he was um, a veteran, but he was, I loved him. He was cool. He used to call me um, Slick. And um, he came, he walked his dog a lot. He had a boxer and he trained his boxer from like the monks, the book of the monks. And his boxer was just like, you could talk to it. And, and it, it was like, it understood everything you said. Um, just the way that it handled and did the body language, it was kind of cool. But anyways, so he was walking down the road. Oh no, he was riding his motorcycle. He was riding his motorcycle. And in front of me, I had a teenager that lived there across. And um, the teenager, I guess, ran up on him too quick. You know, sometimes they like ride the motorcycle's butt. And um, he ended up swerving really quick going down the road trying to hide from him and I all I know is I'm standing there and I see him fly on the side of his house and hide behind his house and I'm like what is going on so he's hiding behind his house and then all of a sudden I see the motorcycle go down the road and I'm like what's my buddy doing and I'm like oh okay he's pissed so um later on I talked to him and he was like telling me how he cut him off and everything and the kid was so scared I think that the fact that the kid was even nervous, I was like, listen, you already got your payback, you know, not that anybody should, but he was scared for whatever he did. It was wrong, you know, let it go. But it was just funny at the time because it just to see him, you know, tearing through the yard like he did. Um, so somebody could be, that's, that's what I'm getting from the story. So somebody could be hiding because they may have done something to upset this person. For me to be telling you that story, there has to be a relation, Okay. And this person is feeling sick and um, they're feeling sick and worried. Okay. So this person, you could have found a bug on them. Or um, some kind of insect. Like, you remember I was telling you guys about I found the beetle with the microphone in it? And it was like a fake beetle, plastic beetle. Um, they probably, this is, you found something, okay? You could have found like a bug, okay? Um, or something like that on him. Or seen him doing something with one. Or maybe this person seen him trying to do something here with the bug, okay? And... I'm getting like you may have found it in his pants. So you could have found something in his pants or her pants when um, you guys could have been fighting or something like that. Or if this is somebody's father, you could have found something in their pants, okay? Um, you could have been like going to wash them. Maybe they're on the floor and you were picking up um, and you found something. Maybe on the pants and the shirt, you could have found some kind of evidence of something, okay? Um... Is what I'm getting here also with the bug you could have seen like if it wasn't something that was bugged you could have um, maybe you've been seeing a lot of bugs lately insects like monitoring spirits okay yeah so <laughs> cat and mouse yep somebody's hiding cat and mouse oh wow that doesn't say cat I thought it said cat and mouse I was like cat cat and mouse did the other one say that? Yes. 
So mouse, cat and mouse, I did see it. And it says on the back, uh, chicken. So he, they're, they're saying he's being a chicken, or she's being a chicken, whoever's running from this person, okay? This person is being very fishy. Something could have definitely happened, okay? They opened a door to something that they shouldn't have done. So they could have done this and pissed off somebody. Somebody could have found evidence. Somebody could have been checking their shirt and their pants. If it wasn't you, if this didn't happen and you guys were fighting about it. Um, I was saying that because that could have been the person I'm talking about right now. Or this could have happened. Okay. They could have been going somewhere. And as they were going through the door, they were getting their shirt and their pants checked. And they had a bug on them, maybe. Okay, remember, there's different scenarios here. But once I get to the end of this read, we will be able to really cut it down to what it is. So, um, they opened a door to something that they shouldn't have opened. Okay. They may have, um, somebody may have gone out the window to run. All right, they got a book. There's something about a book. This book is very important. And this could have been their teacher, somebody that was teaching them some um, dark magic. Huh. At a church. Today. That's why I was channeling them like that. Yep. So you may find out about something tomorrow. This person could be, could do a pop-up on you and say they're sorry. And there could be questions. Why? Like, what, what's going on? Why are all of a sudden you sorry? Like, what did you do? Right? It's like when a kid comes to you and says something, you're like, what did you do? Right? And it, both of these scenarios could have happened. You could have found something at one time on them. And then maybe they went and they were doing this and they had this on them. Like, they were bugged and they went to go get some information because maybe they're an informant of some type. And, you know, this isn't supposed to be going on in a church. And these people found this on them. That's, that's really what I'm channeling here. They found this on them. And they got out the window. And they got a hold of a book. The teacher is really upset. Because they've been playing around with stuff. And they opened a door. And they, he, they already knew that the teacher was going to be upset about something here. All right. They made a pack, okay? They made an agreement that they wouldn't um, do they wouldn't do anything without um, asking permission, okay? They're they're in a deep state of anxiety right now. I could feel it. Okay, this person is very childish, very childish. All right. They could be also using these teachings and these programs for children. Corruption. Corruption. Yep. It's sad. All about the money, all about the Benjamins. So now this person is very much at a crossroads because they got caught. Okay.
there could be a sibling involved. So this could be their brother. Choke. So somebody tried to choke them. Because they had a pack. Okay. So if they have a sibling, a brother or sister, they were involved, okay? There could be a water sign. It could be a water sign. Or the water could hold some secrets, okay? Sometimes they like to get rid of things in the water. The road. So if there's like a lake or something down the road, like the ocean, a river or something down the road, they could have um, hit some evidence there. Yeah, this could have been a spouse. Or a partner. This person is definitely in a deep state of like they're out of their mind right now, okay? Mentally. So there could have been like a time factor, and now there's emotions, like a wave of emotions. Emotions are everywhere, and there is definitely, like, something up with the time. There's, like, a time factor. So they had a certain amount of time to do something. They may have gotten caught doing something else, and they decided to work with these cops is what I'm picking up here. Committed. So they were committed to this. I guess maybe they, they found out they were getting watched to begin with and this was their way out. Guys, I can't make it up. This is in, in alignment, okay? Running, avoiding. You should have heard me on the last read. If you guys watch it, you could hear me. I could barely get out what I was saying. I had to end up centering myself, okay? Racing. Recalling. So, returning. This person is going to return, pop up. Whether or not they stop, I don't know, but they are definitely going to try. Okay, I don't know if you guys have children together. Or again, like you're innocent in this whole situation. And you guys know how I do my reads. I always put at the beginning, I put every scenario that I could think of out there. And then at the end, I can really pull it together. Um, unless I already know like most of the whole thing. And um, I use the cards to ground myself. But that is, I do that because everybody's situation could be a little bit different. But something is definitely coming to light. You're getting awareness to something here that they're involved in. You didn't know that they were involved in this corruption. All right. And they may have known about your, your gifts. And they may have went to somebody to, to learn something. And this person was teaching them the dark way, though, not the light. Okay. Okay. Because they, they wanted to use their gifts. This doesn't even have to be a partner. It could be a friend. It could be um, somebody. It could be like a business partner. Um, just somebody you know. A sibling. But they got their self into some trouble. That's faux show. Spying. Yeah, so they they were being spied on. Not only were they spying on you, but they were being spied on. And this person knew that they had to go in and, and um, get some information. Um... Because they were already, like, in trouble for something. And you know how that, how that is. They'll get people for something else because they know that they're an easy target. And then they use them as an informant 
for the other thing that they really want. Somebody's name could be Steven. Okay, but they, this person was already very curious about you. All right, there was a lot of secrets. And so they wanted this book. And when they went in, they didn't think that they were going to get caught up the way they did. So they could have even had one of those things that go off when you're bugged, right? Somebody could do that at the door or something. And it could be like a totally different place at night at this church than it is during the day. And again, they took this book. Ten of Cups. So this this has to do with source, like the connection. They they want to be able to communicate, and but they want to be able to communicate with like ancient deities and um, just other out of the out out of this world like beings. Okay, and um, they don't understand how dangerous it is because they didn't get really to that part or really pay attention to it because some people are so eager that they don't they don't pay attention okay so they could have been doing a lot of mirror magic or mirror uh, gate like mirror stalking i would call it it's a new one mirror stalking on you all right and the last time they did it, they they got stuck for a while. And they went through it mentally. Alright. So they had to find new ways to do things. Because this person is impulsive. And rushes into things and doesn't think before they act. Alright. It's like putting something together but not reading the, the directions or only reading a part of the directions. mental challenges so this yeah this person is going through it right now mentally challenged like and for them to be messing with anything dark right now because of the situation that they're in is not good not good at all yeah you're being protected I don't know which way they wanted to leave this, so I'm just going to put it back in here. But that was the, um, the card that shows that you're protected. Right, let's see. It's the same card. Wow, I should have showed it to you guys before I, I put it in there again. You're protected. Okay? It's like they put you in the nest. Alright, this could be... Uh, air sign Aquarius Libra Gemini I'm smiling because it was I just put it back in here so they really wanted you to see that you are definitely um, being protected they want you to rest okay you might be contemplating something conflict you might be contemplating something there might be a little tension because you're worried about this um, or worried about something but you ain't got to worry about this I, I, I if the person even comes to your door you don't have to answer it right that's all up to you. As long as you forgive, you don't have to open that door. You don't even have to talk to them. Okay? But this person is definitely in con conflict. And um, it's like they have a spirit that keeps talking to them in their ear. You know. And, and it's like, look at their face. Out there you know you want to do it you know you want to drink do you hear me <laughs> that bird is like pestering him that is a spirit pestering him or her okay it's not funny but sometimes you gotta laugh right <sighs> 
because they get themselves in these messes and then it's like didn't you see it coming but see we see things a little different now because we're star seeds you're definitely connected to the gladiac federation and they see everything you're a gladiator i call them gladiators i don't always say the whole name it's just easier for me. It's not a tongue twister. You could be an empress, okay? You're very abundant. Um, I, I don't feel like you're pregnant. I feel like you're giving birth to new ideas or you have a huge plan, a huge idea that you're ready to, to, to get going. But, and this is like your abundance too, like being protected. It can't come out until you are like where you need to be. You're on your path, but you, you gotta be where you're very comfortable, stable, and it's, it's a positive energy. And um, that's when everything's going to really, really flow out. All right. Anything else, Spirit? All right. So somebody is definitely upset. They're, they're, they don't know what to do. This person is definitely in conflict, uh, having conflict with their self. They could be um, homeless right now. Or they could be you know, stranded, but they, they don't want to be left behind. And now they put themselves in a situation where they don't even have these people to help them. So they don't, they, they're lost. They don't know what they're going to do. King of Swords. So this is the, um, I was pulling a lot of swords. This is the person seeking the truth. This is an authority figure. Okay. This person is definitely very intelligent. They could like to live out in the woods, in the country, or even the mountains. They like to get their hands dirty. This person's very good at detective work. They, they do jobs that are very special quiet jobs okay that that no one can really know what's going on so you can imagine what they're thinking right now but i'm pretty sure that they did it very safely because they probably knew that you know they had a chance of this person getting caught up here all right and there's a the queen of swords so they're, they have a sister. So this could be their twin. Their twin is a private investigator. Or works... I, I feel like they investigate, but they might... It's something for, like, they do... What do you call it? Um, They work in, like, as a lawyer or something. Like, in law. They know all the information they need to about law. But they do it, like, their, their self. Like, they're not a part of... A firm, okay, is what I meant to say. So they kind of work together as a team so that they can get each other the right information. But these people are very, very intelligent. I feel like they may ask you if you want to join their team with your gifts because they've had their eyes on this person and they this person has been spying on you. So they're getting information about you also, and they could see the gifts that you had. These people are also very gifted. They're definitely unhooked from the matrix. Yeah, the high priestess. So they know about all these secrets. Okay. Um, they could have went to somebody to get, they could have somebody that they're connected to high priestess that does readings and that can really tap in and give them the information I feel like this person is is very very tapped in okay and that's another reason that they know about you because this person um, pulled on the energy that's another reason that you are definitely protected because you have these two who are of the truth, okay? These are like whistleblowers. They make sure that the truth, they get the truth, they have everything that they need, and then they lay it out there. They'll make sure that all of it gets out. Okay? 
Palestinian. Somebody could be Palestinian. But yeah, so they know who you are. All right, I got also somebody's somebody's name could be Lucy. I have Russ, Stephen, and Lucy. But I have loving Stephen. So Stephen could be loving. And then I have Ru Russ and Lucy. Uh, somebody here could be racial. Okay, this could be some things going on with racial. And then um, Palestinian I have on here. But I feel like there's three names and there's definitely these three characters. And then there's the one that is on the run. Okay, and then there's you. So that's five. Um, that could be one of their names or somebody that passed. Whew. Yeah, their heart is going off. My heart is beating. Like if I had a heart monitor thingy, whatever you call it. I would put it on and show you guys my heart is I could feel it coming out my chest so somebody here is uh, trying to be quick at their thoughts um, this person is very organized okay they're scrambling motorcycle look at that motorcycle so they could ride one it could even be a dirt bike or a bicycle like I said um, they could be trying to get back to it. Um, this could be the person that is going after the other person or the other person may have took off on, on, on a motorcycle or a bike. It could have been theirs or it could have been the other person's. But I do feel like there is definitely a motorcycle or a bike here involved. Yeah. They're trying to stop you from doing something you're about to do something maybe something big that you're looking at doing and they're trying to stop it they're trying to stop the passion and the fire you have for something here don't know exactly what it is but it's not going to happen so that's why they're they're thinking quick because they feel that if they could stop this all right whatever this is if either you might be traveling um, maybe for a couple days or maybe you're going to move. This could be a job. This could just be your skills, your gifts, right? But they don't want you doing something. So they're trying to think quick on their feet. Yeah. And you're going through um, an upgrade right now, like a rebirth from this moon. This uh, eclipse energy. They could even be running from a uh, spirit that they they conjured up. Remember I said they opened the door? They opened the wrong door. So not only are they running from these people and they have law on their butt, but they also have this spirit. Things could happen in three to you or to them. Sometimes people have that where things come in three or come in two. Wow. Yeah, so they're definitely onto this group, whatever this is, this church that is, I guess they were starting on adults and they've been taking in, um, like maybe their kids and then going from there, you know, um, and they have a pack and this person totally just broke it in a couple different ways. And, um, like I said, they got a hold of a book and now... They're doing crazy stuff and they got the spirit after them. So they're probably also running scared. They got this, this one talking in their head and then they got one trying to get them. So they're haunted and they're running and I, I want to burst out laughing, but it's not right. <laughs> All right, guys, I love you. Okay. If don't forget, if you're vibing, hit that like button. Um, also donations are always welcome. Anything helps. Alright guys, peace, love, and light.